Come on, Rangers! 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 The cup run continues. After beating Hordy Town in the first round, Dorking went on to overcome Walton and Hersham in the second to set up a quarter-final tie with Lingfield, a club from the Premier Division of the Southern Combination League. That's two divisions above Charlwood and four below Dorking, we think. It's really hard to tell. Dorking's season is on an upswing, and a weekend win at Bath, featuring this worldie from Nick Wheeler, has kept them top of the table, so the Surrey Senior Cup is still not a priority for Mark and his side. But the longer the run goes on, the more important it becomes. Yeah, it's like it's a bit, it's exactly that. It's a bit like if you're at the higher end of the spectrum of the competition, a bit like the FA Cup, then you care more when you get to that last sort of like little bit. But last two seasons, we've been like in the semi finals. You know, it's a good competition to play boys in that you need to, need to get minutes into. Do you know what I mean? There's a boy that's just turned 16 that's um, making his debut off the bench. Literally just turned 16, so Max is playing, Max Leach up top. The rest of them are all first team players. Youngsters now are quieter than they used to be, fact. That's just the whole buzz thing for 10, 12 years has been development and, do you know what I mean, people, people can't win and stuff like that. It's all about, you know, nice to take part, you know, so you can't bollock people. And I've been there myself as a kid where I was picked for a B team, not an A team, which was allowed back then and I was fuming and then I understood what it took to work harder and people were able to be direct with me and not pussyfoot. So the message I give them is don't fucking make a mistake. Um, don't enjoy it. The only time to enjoy it is when you've not made a mistake and you come off the pitch. Keep the ball, don't have too many touches, you're not in the playground and give it to your mates because they're better than you. Oh, it's nice to have a fucking sparse changing room. I'm a body language expert, just so you know. you know. I know you think I'm mucking about, yeah, but you don't do well in life unless you know what you're on about, yeah. I'm just good at having banter as well. I'm a body language expert, so that, see that? That means couldn't give a fuck. That's what it means. In the, in the, in the law... We, Why do I shit like this? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's exactly. Right. It's either doing that or reading the programme normally. Right. Right, boys, I'm going to remind you, so a couple of things here, yeah? Good to see Baz back, by the way. Um, like, this is the highest level this team's ever played. Like, to them, it is a gigantic game. Huge, right? What I'm expecting tonight, and this is what I'm looking for, because I really want us to be successful this year, right? Really, you boys tonight, including Dom, have only got everything to lose. That's the bottom line. All you can do tonight is not a favour. Dom never gets fucking spoken about again. Baz comes back from suspension, never kicks a ball again. Because you boys tonight have to up the ante and do fucking well. Right? Don't do yourself any disservice tonight. None of you. Okay? The expectation is you are going to play 100 mile an hour football and pass these off the pitch. So, listen. The main aim here today is... Not to get lazy, all right? Not to get lazy, Baz. What's up, mate? What? You missed this Saturday. Yeah. I'm just fucking feeling light. I couldn't, because I'll tell you what it is, I couldn't get a word in on the coach, because Wheeler was going up and down the coach right here. <laughs> fucking like, left, right. I couldn't get a word in. After that goal. I felt, I felt suppressed by Nicky's goal. <laughs> My mates are all smashed. They go, what? He scored it. What the fucking hairdresser? <laughs> um, the only shock would be tonight if it's under fucking 10. Trust me. And that's what you need to map, have in your fucking head. Or you've got to take them apart, OK? Anyone don't look like they're up for it in a warm-up, and we won't play yet. And of course, you won't play Saturday either. OK, let's get cracking. <laughs> Does anyone have fun, Dom, at your age? Like, like in terms of, like, like, the management, like, you know, is it all boring and all that shit? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> It ain't here, Dom. It ain't here, mate. <laughs> okay, my name is Tommy Smith. 
Uh, I'm a volunteer, have been for a few seasons now, um, and I recently joined the committee, so I do come down to help set up for games and do any maintenance jobs around in the week that needs doing, along with Tom, our maintenance guy. I, I've been a fan of Dokin team in general from the early 80s, uh, when the pitch behind me was, uh, you could put Noah's Ark on it, it got that wet this time of year. Uh, and then I followed it then from that on in. So as, as things changed, I then went to follow the Wanderers. It's fantastic to be part of the club. The club is the most friendliest club I believe that I was ever involved with. I think the amazing bunch of people from the supporters right down to directors to Mark himself always appreciates anything you do for the club. You, you always get Great thanks for, for helping. So the, the volunteers are really well looked after. Nice and lively, aren't you, boys? Come on, plenty of We're going to have to be fucking lively tonight. Good call, Ots. We're going to have to be lively as fuck tonight. Right? Don't take liberties in these fucking games, OK? Great defensive warm-up, Baz. We cannot take liberties in this games. Right? Fucking fast and furious. It's all about our pattern, all about our shape, boys. All about making sure that we let them realise what it's like to play a team. It's all right playing a team that is level, that's one thing. Playing a team that is level that plays the way we do is a long night if we get it right. It's a fucking long night. So we've got to make sure we let them fucking feel the pain. I've asked every player at this club to talk more, communicate more. The bloke next to you, the bloke in front, talk it across the pitch. All the basic calls you need and keep it on pattern, OK? Keep it on pattern the whole time. Baz, obviously you could write the book on how to play that role better than anybody. Getting round the fucking, getting round Jimmy, doing your bit, okay? Balls in the box for Big Ops, that's the idea today. Hang them up, goals. Don't get involved with any antics from them. Pass the ball and move it so quick, it's a joke. Jimmy, pass and move it so quick, it's a joke. And when someone kicks you, don't cry like a fanny. That's what they're gonna do, I'm telling you in advance, right? Get the fucking ball. Get it out your fucking feet and look like a class outfit. All right, the kit looks fucking great. Play as well as the kit looks. Good luck. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Everyone, everyone knows their jobs from set pieces, yeah? Yeah. yeah? Although the referee is fine with it, Mark isn't happy about both sides wearing blue shorts. So he's had Mitch the kit lad put dorking into white shorts, which is why they look a little different this evening. It doesn't look like us, does it? Does it? Makes it look totally different. The Lingfield gaffer did say pre-match that he was looking for an upset today. Hmm. He set up in a flat 4-4-2 with perhaps a striker dropping into midfield for a 4-5-1. And that sounds like a recipe for disaster against Dorking's attacking 3-5-2 system. So the visitors are going to need to play next level football if they're to avoid being overrun all over the pitch. Go on Baz, you're out. Off we go Baz. Open up, Bash! Other side, other side, Kennedy! Easy, 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 one ball. 4-4-2, four, four, innit? Love that, Bash! 4-4-2. Four, four, Sammy! Sammy! Yeah, they're not going to counteract our shapes. It's going to be easy to get here. It'll just be that. Yeah, the balls in the box and getting H in there, really. They certainly start with positive intent, getting the ball into Dorking's half and rattling off a shot. Fortunately for Lingfield, it doesn't take Dorking long to start playing their usual game. One switch, one switch again, Baz. Even with new signing Harry Ottaway and youngster Max Leach up front, the home side are on pattern. It's like a diamond. And then... We'll be able to see it now. Mate, they're just running around anyway. No, they're not going to know how to deal with the movement. Really, it's all about final third, really. If Linkfield had to stand a chance, they need at least a handful of Dorking's players to have an off day. But with Luke Moore proving a point as he returns from injury, Jimmy Mewitt's flying and Harry Ottaway keen to impress. Lingfield are out of luck. Yes, Sammy! Sammy! Sam! Come here! Come here, hold it. I've done 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 it. I've done
Got fucking eight crosses in already. Still, Linfield look half decent on the counter. Sammy Clements plays the ball into the channel for Aaron Jenkins, and he looks to curl one into the far corner. Thieves, go with, thieves, go with. Encouraged by the foray into Dawkins' half, Linfield drive forwards again and have a half decent shout for a picked up back pass. Three on three, Kane! The scares are brief and Cal Kennedy responds by dropping a ball directly onto the head of Sammy El Ab, aka the Buffalo. Let's go. Buffalo! That's the Buffalo! Oh. <laughs> He's done his fucking knees in. Sammy glances expertly past goalkeeper Johnny Thurbin and he apes Nick Wheeler's exuberant celebration three days earlier, a move that nearly costs him his knees. Great ball, by the way. Dorking are pressing high up the pitch and Linfield can't get out of their own box, leading to Max Leach's first chance of the game. Dog. The attacks are coming thicker and faster than a hyperactive dehydrated porn star. Bobby Joe Taylor wants a piece of the action. One nil, 20 gone. Mark wants to make sure that his team are getting play restarted before Lingfield can prepare for the next attack. Get in play! Get in play! Sammy! Sammy! It's the first bit before they set! Yes! Before they set! It certainly works this time as Cal Kennedy once again drops in a perfect cross, this time for new boy Harry the Ot Dog Ottaway. Bat! Harry out muscles a defender and takes a perfect touch before caressing the ball over Thurbin's head. Meanwhile, Mark is in a debate with Sammy over the early passing plan. What I'm saying is. I haven't got an issue with I haven't got an issue with being deep and creating angles. What I'm saying is, they're massively behind the ball. So wherever possible, play the first pass as quick as possible forward. Should we agree to disagree? Do me a favor, just try and play the first pass as early as possible forward. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. Linkfield's heads have dropped like a social media user in Saudi Arabia, and Bobby Joe is keen to be the Mohammed bin Salman of this situation. He's got out of jail there, he's fucking, he's give it to them. Bobby's give it to them, then like, they, they give it back to him. In a moment of classic Bobby Joe behaviour, the winger gives the ball away before redeeming himself with a stunning drive past Thurbin. And Bobby's not done yet. With Barry Fuller flying up the right, Taylor sniffs out the chance for another goal. 18, 18! Yacht's dog nearly gets the second for himself, but it's Bobby Joe coming in at the back stick who makes it 4 0. <laughs> Lingfield do eventually find a chance to drop the ball into the Dorking penalty area, but, well, it only leads to more trouble for them. Slav Huck picks out youngster Max Leach and he survives a full on assault from goalkeeper Johnny Thurbin before just about slipping the ball into the empty net. He's lucky, he misses his off. Yeah. He's off when he pulls it back. <laughs> Despite five goals going in and the odd injury, the referee adds no time on, and Mark is not impressed. Told you. <laughs> I'm going to tell him. Five goals. Beth, Beth, why are you playing 45 minutes on the button for five goals? That's not the laws of the game. It's a bit of a Mark. I think we just want to get in. That's not the laws of the game, though. The fans, the fans come to watch a proper game. It's not, it's not, it's not fun. Max, 
Well done, Sam. Done your bit. You're coming off now. You've done your bit. Well done, Max. Are you listening? Yeah? Deej, you're coming off, mate. All right? Uh, right, Plank is coming on. This is he's fucking 16 in about a week. A week old, so... But he's a great player. You're low to talk him, but he's not a fucking fanny, so he knows what he's doing. Um, just make sure, really, if, if he drops in, you go high, Dom, yeah? If Dom comes in, he's going to get it, yeah? And then you go high, OK? He's, he's more of an attacking midfielder than a 10. So, Dom, enjoy yourself, mate. You're going to score a goal in front of them fans, mate. That'd be great for you, OK? Right, Baz, best player for us there for me. Standard really high. What we mustn't do, Bob, well, well done. What we mustn't do, it only takes one nanosecond for one of you to take your time or roll your foot over it and do something we don't normally do. They're the habits that start. Now, you can always tell when you're doing it out of script. You can always tell because, it, because when it breaks down, it's wide open. Last 15, it's broken down, been wide open way too much. That's because we're getting past the ball. So, Dan, you are only locking up, locking up only, yeah? Um, Moro Kano, only one gets past the ball. Let's be really professional. So however we're playing, one gets past the ball, whether that's one in the box, the other one outside, one gets past the ball, not both. Can we just keep the ball on the outside, keep the balls down in the box, okay? And the minute you get lazy, and you start playing a few lazy balls, you're putting your teammate at risk of getting fucking smashed. Right? They'll have a few subs coming on, right? And all of a sudden, someone starts to try and be the hero, try a bit too hard. So don't forget, you're playing at the tempo you want, so they're not interested. All right, boys? Good off. I said to ref, ref, out of interest, why did, you, why did you play 45 minutes on the button for five goals? He goes, yeah, Lingfield said, can we go in now? I said, fuck, people pay money to come and watch, mate. He may look as diminutive as Gary Oldman in the role of a lifetime, but Don Plank is a hot prospect, and the Dorking bench are keen to see what he can do in his first senior appearance. I don't know, mate. At this day and age, everyone's been on trial, haven't they? It's different these days. He won't shoot. Fucking have a shot. Well, sort of. I'll tell you what, Dom's made a great peeled right off there, Dom. He's done well. The Wanderers are acutely aware that Mark wants to see a professional second-half performance, and with Jimmy Mewitz looking like a man possessed on the right-hand side, there's very little chance of Lingfield having a better half than the first. Well done, Jimmy. That's <laughs> okay. Jimmy done well there. Jimmy careers down the right-hand side and the ball eventually finds Bobby Joe, who completes his first ever Dorking hat-trick. Even if half the Dorking team did kick back and relax, Jimmy Mewitt's in no mood to join them. Hello, I'll touch that. <clears throat> And to their credit, Lingfield are still hoping to get onto the score sheet. Great tracking, Bob. Braden Hall sprints through the middle and tees up Sammy Clements for a shot at Slav Huck's goal. But as has been the case this evening, every time Lingfield have a go, Dorking punish them. Oh, fucking horrible that. That's a great goal to be fair. Bobby Joe's stunning crossfield ball plays in Jimmy Mewitt, who gets a thoroughly deserved goal. Great goal to Bob. Lingfield would largely be expected to down tools now, and yet they keep searching for that elusive consolation goal. That's handball. It's handball though, to be fair. It's handball. Goal scorer Clements rather optimistically grabs the ball from the goal after his close range finish. 
which followed up Braden Hall's stunning drive that was unfortunate not to find the net itself. The Lingfield goal was a bit of a surprise, but Dawkins' reaction was pretty much standard at this point. Now Quaver shoots. Left foot Quaver. Jimmy the flying Quaver Mewitz cuts inside to unleash a curling shot past poor Thurbin to restore Dorking's seven goal advantage. On the one hand, Jimmy's looking to match Bobby Joe's hat-trick exploits, and on the other, he's also aware that a goal would mean a hell of a lot to youngster Don Plank. That's it, 20 grand in the morning. The teenager peels off to find space in the box and Mewitt sets him up for a debut goal. Rwanda has ninth got of the inning, scored in the 62nd minute. Do you know what though, fair play Jimmy, because he's thought I'm going to give him a gun. Because Jimmy, Jimmy's on that trick, isn't he? And he's, and he's like, he's opened out and he just gives him the ball. Dumb. Go, go, go. Well done, Dom! The gold has filled the lad with confidence if indeed there was room for any more. <laughs> Another fucking five grand sound that clip. As Nick Wheeler looks to pick out Barry Fuller from the corner, the bench realise they've lost track of the scoreline. Baz loved that, didn't he? You'll find out now because he'll say it's ten. What we to? tell you now. I can look on Twitter. Ten. How many? Buoyed on by his super goal at Bath, Wheeler wants another top corner finish to his name. Yeah, that's it. He's had his shot at fucking Bath. When Lingfield star man Braden Hall reads Bobby's pass, he makes a beeline for the Dorking goal. Only to have to face down expert shot stopper Slav. Danny Zami. Bobby! Samuel Abd opened the scoring and he's keen to finish it. He's pushed up to add some aerial prowess to the dorking attack. Fucking buffalo up there, look. Making third man runs. Yeah. There he is. <sighs> buffalo. Buffalo making firm man runs there. Unbelievable. Firm man runs on the edge of their box. Sammy rises unmarked six yards from goal to get his second of the match. Jimmy Mewitt wants more goals, although it's worth us pointing out he's known as the Flying Quaver on account of him being as light as a feather. He doesn't dive so much as fall over in fear of a stiff breeze. Perceiving his fall as a dive, despite being 10 goals ahead, the Linfield players are deeply unimpressed with Mewitt's fall. The visitors are taking every opportunity they can to let Jimmy know how they feel, whether it's a knee in the back or Captain David Heaton's words in his ear. Mewitt doesn't have to put up with it for long. As the clock ticks down to the final whistle, there's one last chance for the 15-year-old Don Plank to seal his debut. Fair play to him. Fair play. Aye. <coughs> Cheers, mate. Good luck this year. Well done, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you for your brilliant support this That's evening. That's such a good game. You just don't follow the laws. You've got to play the whole minute. No! Thank you very much, mate. Cheers. Well done, mate. Hey, it's good, isn't it? 
Gee, fucking air cut on the bonus. Yeah, I know. That must, oh, Dom, that must have felt good scoring that goal. That first goal. You can smile, you can smile, but we celebrate. Straight down. Nicky, give him a fucking, give him a fucking. He needs one of your fucking specials, mate. He needs one of your mixed specials. <laughs> right, boys, are we all in? Is everyone in, please? Let's do this quickly, yeah? Dom, I'm gonna get your barnet chopped, yeah? Wheeler, done Mitch's. Right, yeah? So let us know if you want us to do yours as well, mate. Oh, all right. Um, I appreciate the effort to be really professional. It's not easy in games like that, okay? So no point me over talking it. Obviously delighted for a youngster to get some goals, which is great. Man, Max got one as well, let's not forget. So well done. Thanks for you lot for supporting them lads, yeah? And um, obviously we just kept the ball moving and just made them run out of puff. And some, you know, some good finishes though, Jim, some great finishing. Yeah, Sammy, some great finishing. Yeah, two. Um, no clean sheet, Sammy. That's the bit, you know, that's the bit you're gonna wake up to from me. But um, no, boys, well done. Listen, um, I think the way you've got to look at it with respect to the opposition is like, it's just better than a training session, really. It would have come down here training, chat shit, and then gone home, do you know what I mean? So, you know, we've done what we needed to do. Is it 12s? Yeah, so I'm okay with that, do you know what I mean? So well done, boys. Thirsty, so... Would... Yeah, I'm never far off. Um, well done tonight, boys. Fantastic. Well done. Right, anyone got anything? Um, obviously, great for the young lad. Only just turned 16. So, speak to Brighton. And um, let's just... Yeah, he really is, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. Exactly, just try and do a fucking... You know what I mean? Buy now. Buy now, pay now. Um, no. Yeah, exactly. We can put we can put Mar Bar off of him. Do you know what I mean? But don't send him down there with that fucking barnet because that's a bad representation of us. Where all the players down there with that barnet? Really? Yeah, it's the fucking sixteen-year-old barnet. That's what they do. Hiding that barnet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but he had to cut his. He's in board stall. He, like, he, he's fucking in prison. <laughs> um, is that how they got their barnet now? That's why Louis grain is out. <laughs> Louis fucking can is out. Kennedy was the big highlight for me. I thought everything he'd done, he'd done, he'd done it at match pace, and his delivery was great, and his sharpness was great. Nicky Wheeler's looking super sharp, which is great. Yeah. All right, cool. He said he was doing those sprints he saw him today because he said he needs it. He said the game didn't need it, but he. He did, it. yeah, and I could see that. That's perfect. Right. I think, that, I think that maybe could be the look. It's like one of them dogs that old people have. They're, they're walking along thinking the thing can't fucking see. It's got a fucking them little thing. <laughs> I don't want the hair to overtake the performance of Dom. If the kids watching this, they've probably all got that hair. Yeah, mate, I think it's important to highlight is this where we're at? Because even the boys on my team, like they, they're young, they're not fucking old. They're 23, 24, and they're, they're not sure about it either. Uh. Yeah. It's a competition where it can pit teams three, four divisions apart and um, that would be the sort of difference really on a level playing field like a 3G pitch. Do you know what I mean? Like away from home on a, a grass pitch it might be four or five, do you know what I mean? So um, you can only, you know, out of them games you can get complacency and you know standards go down by half a yard and things like that. I thought we've done all right. Do you know what? I think that's what you've got to do. When you get your chance, you've got to try and take that. It's like, you know, everyone in football, you get your chance, you've got to, you've got to try and take that, no matter who the opposition is. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're playing in the Surrey Cup or you're playing in the FA Trophy round, you know, semi-final, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. As soon as you get your place, you've got to take that and you've got to perform as, be you know, as best as you possibly can to keep that place. Obviously, I scored two today, but I, I, you know, I want to get out of it, I want to get more than that. Um, and it does motivate you. As soon as you, even that first pass, you know, you've got to make sure that's good. Whether, you know, if, it's, if it's bad, you go again, you sort of make sure the next one's good. And you've just got to keep motivating yourself and keeping on track in the game. And I think it's really important to sort of get that. I mean, brilliant, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not a fan of kids. But uh, Max got a goal, great. Uh, but the young boy, he's only just turned 16. And he's got his name on the back of his shirt and he's running off to celebrate by the fans. I mean, that's fantastic, isn't it? I, mean, I don't know if you fucking saw him. <laughs> like, you know, with Barnet. But he's... Um... <laughs> and was it a penalty? 
A hundred percent. I like all these big guys around me shouting at me. I'm like, you push me open, mate. I was like, double-handed push. Hopefully you get that back on camera because that is like, I, that is I a full-on, yeah. it's a full-on double-hand push and that, like three guys around me. I was like, why are you shouting at me? I was but, like, though, I couldn't say whether or not you went down too easy, but I just. I mean, like, I have been known to go down a little bit too easy, but. You know, he had a song for it. That, that was unbelievable. I mean, it's like they must have some kind of like Google autoplay football songs. <laughs> Don Plank, and then it gives you a song. Listen, the boy's fantastic. Uh, we, we, you know, not many people see behind the scenes here. We have a lot of hard working people. Richard King has a section called the elite section. The very best youngsters around are there. The coaching, fantastic, high level. Uh, Jordan Clark runs our academy. He creates a pathway for them boys. This is the first time we've seen someone escalated just to go bang, let's put him in the, with, with the boys and see how he gets on. He, you know, he's a great player. He's going to come on for that and what an experience, do you know what I mean? I'm so pleased for him, do you know what I mean? Uh, so I am a basically a youth worker, so I'm a, like, a targeted youth coach with um, Albion in the community, so it's through Brighton. Um, and basically I just do uh, one-to-one sort of mentoring for, for you know children that are sort of um, uh, struggling in school or at home. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, do you know what, it's really rewarding and do enjoy it alongside obviously playing football. So it works quite well within the both because it's, um, you know, if they need to get an afternoon off, go an away game, obviously it's, it works with both. So. I enjoy it. Oh, do you know what? I know. I was going to say that. Yeah, we got we got electrician. I think you've got all the labourers. <laughs> got builders, roofers, uh, an engineer. Yeah, uh, hairdresser. Yeah, hairdresser. <laughs> but yeah, I know. You know, we're in the semi-finals, and that does matter because the finals at a, you know a well-known venue called Meadowbank. <laughs> so um, you know, we're all out to, to get to the final, to get a day out at Meadowbank. Um, we've been at this stage for the last three, two, three years and um, not sure who's left in it to be fair. So it'd be nice, it's a good little distraction somewhere. We've got 14 league games and it's going to be 100% a bumpy ride. As ever, we thank you so much for watching Bunch of Amateurs here on YouTube. You can see the next round of the Dorking Uncovered Cup run here somewhere. If you can find it, it'll be linked nearby, we'd imagine. Hit like and subscribe if you can, because that really helps us out.